Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, g equals ca minus b, and we're solving that for a, okay? g equals ca minus b, and we're solving that for a. Well, I'm going to rewrite my equation, g equals ca minus b, and now I need to solve for a. So I'm going to add a b to both sides. That leaves me with a g plus b on the left equals c times a on the right. From there, I'm going to divide by c to both sides. That eliminates the c's on the right, giving me a by itself. And then there's no like term, so we're basically done here. g plus b over c on the left. I could rewrite this, and I'm going to, and have a comes first, because that looks nice and neat. So I have a equals g plus b over c, and there we are. A very simple, quick problem here. Okay? So let's recap. We have g equals c times a minus b, and we're solving that for a. I rewrote my equation. I then added a b to both sides to limit the b on the right. That gave me g plus b equals c times a. Opposite multiplication is division, so I divided c to both sides, eliminating the c on the right, giving me a by itself on the right. And then I have g plus b over c. And there were, that's all, g plus b all over c, or divided by c, uh, right there on the left. We're basically done. a is isolated. So I'm going to rewrite this as a come first, because that looks nice and neat. And so our final answer here is a equals g plus b all over c.